firearms. The Supreme Court of Canada today ruling it will not hear a case from a group of residential school survivors from Northern Ontario. The group from St. Anne's has been fighting with the federal government to hand over documents. The survivors say the government is in breach of the Indian Residential Schools Settlement Agreement because it withheld documentation of abuse when deciding upon their compensation. St. Anne's operated in Fort Albany, First Nation, and 20 out, standby. Six survivors say some students were punished by being placed into an electric chair. All right, joining me now, Percy Lazar, Assistant Professor of Indigenous Studies at Wilfrid Laurier University. Thank you for taking your time today for coming on the program. Your reaction when you heard this news about the Supreme Court. First, I want to welcome folks. Uh, I'm dialing in from the Dish with One Spoon here in Toronto, um, and I'm an invited guest. Uh, I also want to um, let my family members know, uh, including an older sibling, parents, their siblings, grandparents and their siblings, and all family members who are either the children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren of residential school survivors, uh, know that uh, my prayers are with you on um, the announcement of such another reminder of when we center Indigenous voices, um, we know we're going to experience in Gaslighting 101 and the refusal of the various systems and structures um, that come into contact with us, the refusal of accountability and transparency about the things that have been done to us through policy, uh, that have been enacted systems and structures of care through education, social services, and the medical system, uh, ongoing harm. Um, so I'm, it's another reminder that this system this justice system, this compensation system is was set up to do exactly what it's doing and to deny, to lie, and in this case, breach and refuse to include the lived experiences of, of Indigenous folks who uh, were forced through the 126 years of Indian residential schools at St. Anne's. And, and I wonder what the message is for you, Percy, as well about, let's say, the larger issue of reconciliation when this story happens today and, and you and you read over this decision and you, in your mind, realize what it's going to mean or not mean, as the case may be. Well, it's a con constant reminder that the relationship that First Nations made to Inuit, Afro-Indigenous, Black Indigenous people is not actually a priority of this government or its entities, meaning the criminal justice system, the education system, that actually is not an important relationship. And that reconciliation is something they're opting out of, which is an example of structural and systemic white fragility in the sense that they're not willing to engage in truth telling uh, as previously many different as thinkers and scholars and survivors and the commissioner himself said that there needs to be truth before there's reconciliation and this is an example of how we erase disappear gaslight and silence the experiences of residential school survivors and their 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 the generations that came after them Percy, thank you for taking the time to be part of the conversation and joining us here on CTV News today to share your thoughts Raise my hands up to the survivors. Thank you. Percy Lazard joining us there, Assistant Professor of Indigenous Studies at Wilfrid Laurier.